Ladies and gentlemen, people of Nauhan, another warm round of applause to our bemusing Binibinis in their swimwear. Congratulations, ladies, for surviving the swimsuit competition. At this point, we are now ready to award our first set of special awards. So we would like to say thank you to our official statistician, our tabulators. Maraming maraming salamat po. Our first sponsor's award or special award is the Miss Fallen Clay Travel and Tours. The Miss Falling Clay Travel and Tours Award will be presented by Dr. and Mrs. Ibrahim Liamar. And our Miss Fallen Clay Travel and Tours 2023 is you, Bini Bini Laguna! But before the budget proper, photos of our 14 Binibinis were uploaded in the Facebook page of Nauhan Public Information for our netizens to choose who among these ladies will be hailed as their bet to win the crown. Our next special award is Binibini Nauhan 2023 Netizen's Choice. The, net the Netizen's Choice Award will be awarded by Honorable and Mrs. Ralph Janelle Recto and Honorable Rogelio Banlugan. Chosen by the digital world is you, Pini Pini, San Carlos. Our next special award is chosen by the Bini Binis themselves, the Miss Congeniality. Presenting the awards for Miss Congeniality are Honorable Alan Balbacal and Tourism Officer Florentino Disoy Heliado. Once again, our netizen choice is you, Miss San Carlos. Our Miss Congeniality, the most charismatic Bini Bini, is you. Once again, Bini Bini San Carlos! Our next special award is the Miss Photogenic. The Miss Photogenic Award will be presented by Honorable Danielle Arteza and Honorable Jofel Ilaga. And the most beautiful during the pictorial or the photo shoot is you, Bini Bini. Pangkuro! <laughs> Our last special award is the Miss RA Aesthetic. The Binibini RA Aesthetic will be awarded by the owner of RA Aesthetic Spa, Miss Arlene Tolentino. Congratulations once again, our Miss Photogenic Binibini Bankuro. And completing our first set of special and sponsors award is the Miss RA Aesthetic. And the winner is you, Bini Bini, Pagkakaisa. Congratulations once again, Binibini Pagkakaisa, our Binibini RA Aesthetic. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, people of Nauhan, another resounding applause to our 14 Binibinis in their swimwear. Thank you very much, girls. Once again, just to recap, our Miss Congeniality and Netizen Choice, Binibini San Carlos, our Miss Fallen Travel and Tours, 
Binibining Laguna. Our Miss Photogenic is Binibining Bangkuro. And our RA Aesthetic Ambassadress is Binibining Pagkakaisa. And Once again, let's give another warm round of applause to our Honorable Mayor Joel Henry Tevez. Mayor, thank you very much for making all the festivities of this municipality a huge success. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, so we are now ready or we are now uh, going to go to our last part of our competition tonight. Actually, this is my personal favorite, the long gown competition. But before that, I would like to go to the judges' position and interview our distinguished panel of judges while our candidates are still preparing for the next competition. Let's start with our Binibining Pilipinas Globe. Hi, Anna. Hello, everyone. So I'd like to uh, request Anna to please stand up and let's go on stage, if you don't mind. Okay. Once again, everyone, let's give it up. For our Binibining Pilipinas Globe, Miss Anna Valencia Lacrini. Hello, Anna. What would what would you like to tell to all the Nauhenias here tonight? First of all, thank you all for coming. I know that being on the stage needs a lot of support, and grabe naman yung energy dito. So thank you for everyone who's coming, and also for all the contestants that are here. 
rubbing them on the energy, and I hope, I wish all the good ladies good luck. Because, oh my God, they have so much energy. <laughs> Anna, I would like to say, grabby naman ang ganda mo. <laughs> okay, so Anna, we are going, we are now heading to the next competition, the long gown competition. Based on your experience during your stint at the Binibining Pilipinas competition, how did you, or what advice would you like to give to our candidates in preparation for the next competition, the long gown competition? So the swimsuit competition was very fun, very energetic. So for the long gun, I hope that they take their time, really enjoy every single second on the stage. Make this your own performance, make this your own moment, and really focus you with the crown. So you are one of the panel of judges. I'm very sure that you have now your favorite. Diba? So ano ba yung mga, what are the criteria that you're looking for uh, a grand winner for tonight's competition? Shampoo naman, uh, they have to have the whole package. So in terms of beauty, in terms of knowledge, in terms of swimsuit, passarella, they have to have it all. So I hope that no matter who's the lucky lady tonight, I hope that she has it all and that she shines the brightest tonight. So Anna, let's go a little bit uh, personal. How are you preparing for your Miss Globe competition? Shampoo naman, I'm also training Q&A because that's a really important part of my journey. I am doing passarella training and most importantly, I really focus my mind on it. Because I believe that if you don't envision yourself with the crown on your head, then you can't win. So, Shampranaman, I hope that everyone is manifesting today also the crown. So we are with high hope that you're going to uh, bring home the third Miss Globe uh, crown for the Philippines. Once again, people of Nauhan, another warm round of applause, a sign of good luck to our Binibining Pilipinas Globe, Miss Anna Valencia Lacrini. Thank you very much.